This was a downright dog fight. This was really between Microsoft and Amazon. Microsoft knocked it out of the park. Amazon's numbers, on the other hand, were widely panned. Microsoft has secured a $10 billion contract with the U.S. Defense Department. Indeed, it was a downright dogfight between the two tech giants, Microsoft and Amazon. In 2019, both were engaged in a battle over who would get the Pentagon's $10 billion defense contract. Eventually, Microsoft's cloud service Azure whipped the likes of Amazon, Google, IBM and Oracle to grab the prize contract. So how did cloud services become such a lucrative business? Have the tech giants found a new battleground for supremacy in the cloud? The AI could do any job. Uh, we're already a cyber. Something more profound than electricity or fire. Alter ego software. We are limited by slow biological evolution. The Netflix movie you watched last night, your favorite playlist on Spotify, and the photos on your Instagram feed have one thing in common. All these platforms leverage a service called cloud computing. Though the word cloud gives us the essence of being a fancier, intangible entity that takes care of all your digital woes, there is a way to explain how it works. When you use a cloud service, imagine firing up a giant rack of computers sitting in data centers as large as a football field. This requires an enormous amount of energy to load, process, transfer, save and even to cool them. Thus, it is almost a mini-nation in operation. In short, it would be an understatement to say that the internet, as we know it today, wouldn't be the same without cloud computing. Building products like Netflix or Spotify is difficult. What is even more difficult is to maintain the quality and consistency of the experience with increasing customers and data. Scaling up is an engineering nightmare. The technical debts involved are very high. To unburden companies of the difficulties of managing data, companies such as Amazon, Google and Microsoft have started offering their cloud services as vaults that can store, process, stream and even derive intelligence out of data. The unprecedented exodus of companies towards cloud-based intelligence services has resulted in the emergence of a new battleground for the tech giants, cloud. Today, cloud services generate billions of dollars in revenue for these companies and have even dwarfed the revenues of the services for which these companies are known for. AWS, for example, still remains one of Amazon's strongest units, accounting for nearly 80% of Amazon's total operating profit for the quarter. Last year, AWS alone had generated $35 billion in revenue for the company. It is no surprise then that today even the core strategies of the CEOs of Microsoft and Google are being dictated by the success of their cloud services. We now need to make Microsoft thrive in a mobile-first and a cloud-first world. At AWS, we completely reinvented the way that companies buy computation. Then a business miracle happened. This never happens. This is like the greatest piece of business luck in the history of business, so far as I know. We faced no like-minded competition for seven years. Today, AWS has become a multi-billion dollar behemoth that has played a crucial role in making Amazon a trillion dollar company. Cloud computing has now transformed from hosting data to deriving intelligence out of data. Now the cloud customers can leverage the AI-backed services to improve their businesses. Not only Amazon, but both Google and Microsoft have also elevated to the coveted trillion dollar status after they have made cloud computing their core strategy. And while Amazon could have laid claim to the title back in 2015, the race has become much tighter in the years since. This is due to the acceleration of Microsoft and Google's offerings and the evolution of new and growing cloud providers. However, AWS easily outsizes its competitors in terms of revenue. AWS reported about $9.9 billion in revenue for the most recent quarter, meaning that it more or less quadruples Google Cloud's revenue growth. On the other hand, Google Cloud, the search giant's cloud computing unit, reported revenue of $2.6 billion for the last three months of 2019, Microsoft's intelligent cloud business, 
which includes Azure as well as some other as a service products, jumped in revenues by 27% to $11.9 billion. Cloud as a service has become so lucrative over the years that it has resulted in an ongoing conflict between Amazon and Microsoft over the United States defense contract. You know, this is a court challenge over the $10 billion federal cloud computing contract known as JEDI. The Defense Department awarded the project to Microsoft last month, and on Friday, Amazon filed a preliminary notice in the U.S. Court of Federal Claims over that outcome. In fact, according to Gartner, the worldwide public cloud services market is projected to grow 17% in 2020 alone. But it's not just the expected enterprises that are fueling cloud wars. Other players like IBM, Oracle and Alibaba are helping expand the competitive landscape. Oracle, in particular, has made significant strides in its cloud marketplace. Let me tell you an interesting fact. Amazon does not use AWS to run their business. Amazon runs their entire business on top of Oracle, on top of the Oracle database. They have been unable to migrate to AWS because it's not good enough. The upward trajectory of traditionally niche players like Oracle, coupled with heated competition among the big three, has made cloud a key factor in the tech company's race to supremacy. Cloud service providers are now increasingly equipping their platforms with AI so that customers can draw insights on the go. Google even lures customers by flaunting their latest custom-built TPUs that are pocket-sized ML powerhouses that can offer great speeds for AI-based tasks. As the landscape of businesses transition from on-premise to cloud, and with more than a handful of companies vying for the top spot, we are about to witness a new era of innovation, new job opportunities, collaboration, and of course, conflicts.